Hello, good day, good morning, good evening, whatever time it is you watch this uh, video. Here at Rental and E-Plan, Strong Partners Sustainable Panel Building and Switchgear Manufacturing. I just want to talk about the newest discovery I just made today. Newest discovery within E-Plan, and, and this makes a lot of sense. When you're creating these beautiful digital twins, right? So you basically imagine uh, placing all the components that you use in your schematics, you start placing them here in the panel, you place them wherever they fit, and the data is actually saved somewhere. Of course, it comes from our cloud, it comes here from the ePlan Cloud Data Portal. But at one point in time, it's all saved here in my parts management. Now, if I'm inside a company, I have a server, I put this data on the server, everyone that is inside the company can access that server. Problem is, nowadays, we're not all in the same company, in the same location. We might actually be at home. How do we keep this centralized parts database into a centralized area where everyone can get access to it? Well, in this version 2023, this new version here, ePlan has come up with a very nice idea. Let me just show you. I go here to the ePlan cloud. It's called eStock. eStock is a centralized parts database. You can upload your parts and you can have everyone in your organization look at the same parts database. It works per collections. Collections are pretty much like a collection of parts. And the secret behind the scene, once you actually see this e-stock, remember one thing and one particular thing that is not necessarily described, but you have to look up here into your user management and make sure that you as a user or whoever is actually logged in here in ePlan is within the eStock e designer. Because by default, your eStock setting here is set to user. And that is a small issue because then you can only look at parts that have been released by a designer and parts that have been put into a collection by a designer. So you get the idea. You have to be a designer to get this going first. So once you have you and your main colleagues that actually will populate the parts database, you have set them to designer, you can go back to your e-stock. Now, once you are in e-stock, you can simply create your collection. <coughs> Sorry, I got this cold. I have to get over it. And this collection here is something that you can create right away. You'll see the very first time you're here, you can actually create a new collection. And then what you do is you flip over to ePlan, you go to your ePlan parts management. You have already a number of parts. Let's say here I have a few parts. You can see a few of these parts. You can take a group or you can take a whole section. And using the right mouse click, you can just upload it into your collection here. You can create a new collection or you can actually add it to the existing collection. Now, of course, remember a collection could be, in, in my case here, uh, RIC is, is an internal project um, within the Retail and Implant group. Uh, it could be a specific project. It could be a specific um, <coughs> event that you're working on and you share with other people. So a collection can be different things. And now also interesting is that you could have someone else working with that particular collection. And I'm going to show you how to use that collection as replacement of your parts database. I'm going to start here the regular ePlan Electric P8 2023 in parallel with your Pro Panel. As you know, ePlan has numerous systems. We often talk about ePlan Electric P8 or we talk about Pro panel. Now, if you have, like me, both installed on the same computer, you can start both of them at the same time. And I can have two different settings running in these. So this is actually the emulation of somebody else, <coughs> a colleague of mine, or even a different company uh, that would work on the same event, on the same, off of the same collection. They could actually go in here and set up your, their e-plan, have everything local as typically planned, and they could here 
of course, get my project off of ePlan, eManage, and you know all the rest of the ePlan cloud works. And here, of course, inside the eStock, you will see all the parts that we have. But in your personal settings, behind the scene, you can even say, when we talk about parts, please, and this is new to version 2023, use the RAC collection that I created earlier onto which I uploaded my parts. And those parts will then be looked at when you simply go here to your parts management. In this particular parts management, you will see I only update, uploaded a few electrical uh, engineering components. I uploaded a few protection devices, relays, sensors, and other devices. So these are actually all parts that are on that collection RAC. This is quite exceptional because it also includes, and this is what really fascinated me, is it includes when you click on a component, not only the technical data, so the commercial data, but it also includes um, here the picture sometimes actually takes a little while to actually open. In other cases, it opens quite fast. It actually will show you the 3D model, the picture and everything, because it does not only contain what is typically on the SQL dat database or on your server. It also contains macros, images and everything else. In some cases, when you open something, you can see it takes a, a while. You can see they, are, are, they have actually six different variants, and you can see all the six different variants. This is awesome. Now, if you are a designer, you don't necessarily have to go to the next step. If you want users to actually see these parts, you have to go here, and you have to take it off of the draft mode because you have to release it. So if you release a part, what it actually does, it actually opens... Uh, this for other users. Now, if you don't necessarily need the um, approval step, you can just run as designer, and I guess it, it, it should work as a first um, uh, step. So please have fun with this. This was Roland Jung from ePlan Canada. Uh, you want some um, additional... Uh, feel free to contact all your ePlan people.